Hello, everyone. It's me again. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Today, I'd like to continue on our discussion on analog to digital conversion, which is also known as ADC. The objective of this video is to understand the process of ADC and DAC. ADC simply means how to convert analog signal into digital signal, while DAC simply means how can we convert a digital signal into an analog signal. So this is our objective, to understand the whole process of ADC and DAC. This will be the part 3 series discussion. The earlier on series discussion on analog to digital conversion, I have put the video link under the description. So please take a look on those videos if you're keen to know more about ADC. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support and also please give me some comment so that I can improve my quality of delivery. Once again, thank you so much. Let's understand the process of analog to digital conversion. Earlier on, on the part 1 and part 2 series, I have given you some idea how to implement this analog to digital conversion. I'm going to do a very quick summarize. The first step of analog to digital conversion is sampling. Can you still remember? This is the analog signal. How many samples I need to take to convert them into a digital data. So the first step of analog to digital conversion is sampling. Next will be on quantized level. So what is quantized level? Quantized means to estimate to the nearest allowed level. Let's take a look on this diagram here. If you look hard on this diagram here, let's just focus on the top part here. Okay, this analog signal is right in between these two level, and there's no mean that I can indicate them clearly at this particular level. I can only indicate either this line or this line. So when this implement, I actually have this meaning, which means that I actually estimate them to the nearest allowed level. Okay, I will discuss this a little bit more on the next slides. But right now, I guess you understand what I want to say. There is no practical, impossible to express the analog signal in the original signal. What I can do is I either bring them up to this level or I bring them down to this level. So this is quantized level. Next will be encode. Remember the key purpose of analog to digital is to convert the data into a digital signal. So over here, you can see that from analog signal, it basically convert into a digital signal. So with this, we are ready to send the data to a receiver and the type of data that we send will be a digital data. The first step, like what I mentioned earlier on, is sampling. Okay, by now, I guess you understand what is sampling. Sampling means how many samples I will be taking on this analog signal. If you still remember, okay, in order to prevent aliasing from happening, the sampling frequency must be at least two times the fx. When we actually sample at least two times the fx, we will be able to duplicate as much as possible on the original analog signal. So this is the first step on sampling. Okay, I have mentioned this quite a few times on the previous two videos. I'm not going to say a little bit more on this, but I guess you know what I want to say about sampling. After sampling, okay, we need to decide the numbers of bit n and also the number of quantization level to represent the analog signal. Okay, so this is the sampling that I've done earlier on. Okay, I need to decide how many bits and how many level to represent this analog signal. For example, for this case, okay, let's say the numbers of bit will be three. 
and from here I can calculate the numbers of quantization level will be eight. So which means that I have eight level, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight level to represent this analog signal. Next, I need to shift the sample point to the nearest level. Okay, remember I told you earlier on. Okay, I can't put them exactly at this point because I can either move them to this level or I can actually move down to this level. Okay, what I have plot over here is the middle line. So anything that is more than this middle line, okay, I will represent by this level. Anything less than this middle line, I will represent by this level. Okay, I guess you know what I want to say. So with this, I actually have this, we call it a quantization error. Okay, remember, okay, the quantization error are all in blue. Okay, for example, it's supposed to be at this level, for example, for this case here. Okay, but I have no choice. I can't represent them exactly at this point. So what I can do is basically, I can only represent them at this level, for example. And with this, I actually incurred a quantization error. So this is the error that I implement when I actually do a analog to digital conversion. Based on the different level, okay, I actually introduced this quantization error. Okay, so next, okay, I'm ready to convert this signal into a digital format. Okay, take a look over here. So the first format is 000, which is over here. So 000, 000 indicate this point here. Next, I have 001, okay, which is indicated here, 001. Next, I also have this 001. Next, I have 010, and this thing happened on and on until I finally come over here, which is 000, which is indicated over here. So from here, okay, you can see that I successfully convert my analog signal into a strings of ones and zero, or a digital signal if you want. Okay, so this is what I want to say earlier on. So I have successfully transformed an analog signal into a digital signal. And this is the digital signal that can be used to represent this analog signal. Okay, so these are all the bits that I will be sending over the air to the receiver. Okay, you can imagine this. So now the receiver actually received the numbers of bits that represent the analog signal. So Again, this is the form that I transmit is in digital. So I actually receive this digital signal and I'm ready to plot the data. Okay, remember this. So the first one is 000. So I have this point here. Next one is 001. So I plot this point here. So I actually plot this uh, digital data from the numbers of bits that is sent over by the transmitter. So next, what I can do is basically Okay, I can quickly draw this at the bit or at the envelope of the digital represent signal. Can you see here? I actually draw at the bit on the digital represent signal. I actually get this in black color. So what I need to do is basically I put this black color from the digital signal and the original analog signal. So from here, you can see the process of DAC the digital to analog conversion, I actually receive strings of one and zero, which is digital. And what I can process is basically based on tracing on the envelope of the digital signal, I actually more or less recover back the original analog signal. From here, I can conclude that in order to have lesser quantization error, okay, I need to have more numbers of bit. When I actually have more numbers of bit, Okay, you can more or less imagine that it will be much more closer, resemble the analog signal as compared to now. So the key idea is I can represent the numbers of bits, which on the other hand also increase the number of quantization level. Okay, I am actually capable to represent as much as possible the analog signal. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please check to like and subscribe. Once again, Sincere thanks for your strong support. Bye for now.